Hello everybody, MagusX here, Volatile Gamer. Today we're going to install Hackslash Mine servers. And we're going to need quite a few things to do this. You need WinRAR, LogMe and Hamachi, the Technique Launcher, although that is optional. Uh, you're going to need the actual data files themselves as well. So, uh, by the way, background picture made by Qish. Just do a Google image search for Ticket and you will be able to find this awesome image. But make sure to ask them first if you use it on your official stuff. So let's get started. You're going to need the actual website link. So you got this website here for the actual Hackslash Mine. You just scroll down here and I'm going to give you this link instead of the download link just in case they ever change it. Uh, go ahead and grab the version 0.6 that's going to bring you to AdFly and then Mediafire. If you have issues with those try loading them in different browsers. So go ahead and grab that. That's going to give you a zip file with quite a few folders in it. You're also going to need Minecraft version changer. You're going to click right here to download. That's going to be a zip file as well and I'll give you these links in descriptions and stuff. And uh, here's the optional thing. Now if you don't go this route and you choose just to patch your normal Minecraft uh, I could make a separate video tutorial on that if you need it, but let's use this route today. It's much easier and you don't have to do as much editing and patching. So this is the Technique Launcher. You're just going to go to this website right here and you can click on like Tech It. It should be on almost every page, but just click Download the Technique Launcher. It's going to bring you to this page where if you need, you can click on Windows here and that's going to go ahead and load that up. Now I have video tutorials on this already, so I'll link a few in an annotation right now or something like that and you can check that out. Although I will tell you if you have any issues, you could press Windows key in R like basically after you hit your I'm going to I am going to tell you one thing about this though if you go ahead and try to load up the technicalcher.exe and it doesn't run properly hit windows key and r at the same time and then type in percentage app data percentage and then you could go to the dot technique launcher folder and you, and at this point you only have this file here technique dash launcher dot jar you might not see the dot jar if you don't have that enabled but whatever you'll have the one file go ahead and click on that and if you continue having issues here's some annotations and there should be a link in the description as well for fixes to get this up and running so we don't have to you know make this video long so let's continue uh, at this point you're gonna have to first open up your technique launcher and we're gonna actually get it set for hack slash mine so at this point if you only want to play on single player this will be good enough and you could uh, continue on with that. So you just got to select the actual hack slash mine mod like I did there. Go to options, and this is important. Uh, you're going to want to run with the newest version. I highly recommend it because without it, you won't have any villages or any money, and the game just isn't as fun without those things. And So this is what you got to select, manual build selection, and then just do the drop down for 0.6, and you're good to go. And as soon as you log in, it's going to ask you if you want to update. Make sure you hit yes. Another quick note about the Technic Launcher, though, just to you know, prevent some problems, is make sure that your antiviruses and your firewalls are shut off. So to shut off your firewall, you just type in firewall into the search here, and or you could go to your control panel and find that, and you would just have to disable the uh, domain, public and private, that's one of them, so you click on firewall properties, and in these three tabs, you'll see here, you notice it's just set to off. You could rather do it like that, or you could keep it on and make sure that you allow the uh, incoming outgoing. All right, let's get this server installed now. So you got to make a new folder, and we've already installed what we needed here. Here's the hack slash mine zip. So as you can see here, there's four different folders. The Technique Launcher takes care of three of these folders, so the only one we need is the server folder. I'm just going to go ahead and unzip that right now. Before we open that up, we're going to have to actually grab the Minecraft 1.2.3 server because this is actually ran on Minecraft 1.2.3. And that's why I choose to go with the Technique Launcher. That way you don't have to mess around with your, your uh, Minecraft uh, other stuff, and you're able to keep on with your one three stuff so uh, yep radio so let's continue uh, at this point we're gonna need to use the Minecraft version changer and that's just a simple .exe you go ahead and scan it if you want but there shouldn't be any issues I haven't had any myself so get that up on there and uh, you might want to keep that I'm actually gonna throw it in the new folder just for now I like to keep all the files that I use the zips and stuff in the same folder as the server that way it's nice and organized and if I ever need it in the future it's there so let's load that up and once that's loaded, um, you may get a pop-up. It did on my other computer, and it'll say something. Just press, like, I think it's Control and S, and it'll get rid of it. And if you don't do that, it'll shut the program off. So make sure you do that. And you're going to scroll up to where you have Minecraft 1.2.3. And I went a little bit too far. Uh, so we're going to be clicking on full 1.2.3, and then just click on the server available button. Now, this is very strange how this works for me. It may work properly for you, so you could try it out your first time. If you if I were to hit save here, for whatever reason, it makes it disappear in a also makes a window pop up. So what I'm going to do is just grab this newly created .jar file and throw that into your new folder for your server as well. Then you can just X this out and X that out as well. All right, let's edit the actual server now. So let's open that up. And you're going to see here I already have a launch file. I'm going to explain that, though. So I only had it for copy and paste. So here's what you're going to do. Right click and go to New Text Document. And then we're going to just I'll go ahead and edit that. 
And first thing you're going to want to do is just save as. Make sure it's save as though, and then use this drop down. Go all files, and then name it whatever you want. Get rid of the dot text though. Very important that you get rid of the dot text here. I'm going to call it run. Now this is the big part. Dot bat for batch files. Okay, so we got to do that. If you don't do that, it won't work. Now I'm not going to name it that just because I already have that file there. So I'm just going to call it run two. All right, so here's that. Now, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and edit that batch file now. But before you pause the video and copy down this code, notice that I changed this right here, where it says hackmine.jar. You're going to have to actually rename this jar file to that to make this make sense. And I did that just because it was easier to type it in that way than it was to type in all the dashes and the version number and stuff. So that's good there. Now, now this is going to be way too much for you guys if you don't have a six gigabyte co uh, RAM computer. So what safe settings for you? If you're using 32-bit and you have 2 gigs or less, just use 1 here and change that to a G. So this is what it's going to look like. And if you're using, uh, this could set to maybe 800M. If, and that's if you're using 2 gigabytes. If you're using 4 gigabytes on a 64-bit computer, then you could probably change this to a 2G. And you could change this to 3G for th up to 3 gigabytes, minimum 2 gigabytes type of deal. And that's, that should be more than enough. Everything else here I'll copy and paste into the comment and you can grab it from there. So let's go ahead and save that up. Alright, so we have to actually update this server from 1.2.3 to have the actual server files for hack slash mine. And that's the folder that we got earlier that we took out of the zip for hack slash mine, the server folder once again. So all you have to do is using WinRAR, you open up your hack slash mine dot jar or whatever the actual server dot jar name is since I changed mine and open with WinRAR. Okie dokie and using these this folder that I got and we're just going to drag everything in make sure that you don't drag it into like uh, one of the folders make sure that it actually gets added in the entire root folder of this dot uh, jar so uh, you don't delete the meta inf as you would normally do that with uh, single player mods but you don't do them in, in multiplayer so keep that as it is and we're good to go there yeah, I created this one just for demonstration on actually making it so I'm going to delete that now and we'll do the run dot bat you wouldn't have deleted that run.bat though. So let it load up. It's going to actually, you know, spawn in a world. And after, you'll also notice that there's server.properties now. If you don't see the dot properties, you have to press the left alt key and then go into tools and folder options and the view tab here and then click on hide extensions. Make sure it's, it is like it is on my screen. Get rid of the checkbox for hide extensions to known file types and that'll actually make it appear. So let's uh, do this here. First things first, I'm going to save all and stop. And those two functions are very important, guys. Never, ever shut off your server by clicking the X like that. Always, always, always use the save all and the stop function. Otherwise, you could have very bad server corruption if it gets ungracefully shut off, I guess. Especially in TechIt. Tech is even worse for that. And anyway, so let's continue. Um, so let's edit the server.properties now. And uh, a few changes you want to make in here. The next step is Hamachi so we're going to have to actually put in your server IP here so where it says server IP equals and we're going to put in you know in my case it would be 5.229 uh, 6927 and that's just the same uh, you know IP that's set up right here so that's cool that's all good now, if you want to see a guide that's a little bit more detailed about setting up Hamachi and getting that to run for Minecraft servers, go ahead and click on this annotation now. That's going to show you how you and your friends will connect to each other to do it. It actually has a side-by-side -side view, so it is pretty detailed. It should help you out. Now, uh, besides that, you may want to change a few things like the game mode. That's uh, zero is survival, so that's good. Difficulty, though, I like putting on hard. I give myself a challenge. So hard is three, two is normal, one is easy, zero is peaceful. Uh, everything else is pretty much good. Um... So now that we're all done, we could go ahead and launch it back up, and that's pretty much it. So once again, don't forget to check out the annotations for the Hamachi guide if you need more help on that. Basically, all you're going to have to do is, in short, is create a new network on your computer, the computer running the server, that is, and then your friends will join an existing network, and you'll see here when I do that, I get a pop-up with the ID name and password. Your friends will have to use that 
ID name and password as well to join it. And it is cap sensitive. So if you, you know, you put a capital T or whatever in the name, that is important. Your friends will have to do that capital as well. Once they're in there, then you're pretty much connected to the LAN and that's what allows this all to happen. Uh, the other method would be port forwarding. I'm not going to go into detail about that. So anyways, that's pretty much it for today. There's your hack slash mine server. Uh, I'm going to go load it up real quick just to double check that it is working, but I don't see why it wouldn't be. So let me just skip ahead and we'll see if it works. All right, so you'll be greeted by an update screen, and then you just click on multiplayer, and go ahead and add in your server IP here, add a server, whatever, you know, add the uh, address down here, and name it whatever you like, and let's see if it works. I don't see why it wouldn't, as long as you followed everything accordingly. Now, if you do have issues at this point, and perhaps I didn't add an annotation or a link to it, or I could help you out in another way, let me know in the comment section below, and uh, I'll be sure to help if I know, and I'll tell you if I don't know, or I'll try to look into it if I can. So let's just go with a warrior, because I haven't tried a warrior yet. And I'm sure it's going to be nice and laggy for me. You know, I'd have to do all my settings and stuff. Now, one thing I'm going to show you real quick if you're still watching is make sure to go into your controls because you have all these extra spells and stuff. So you're going to want to know that you can switch all this, just so you know. And by default, the sneak is not shift anymore. I think it's like C or something else. So you're going to have to switch that and all that fun stuff. And uh, you can press shift by default to get to your skills and like shift one, two, three, four, five, six to use them. I have them set differently, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hopefully you have fun, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for daily content and give it a like. Give it a million likes, my god, if this was helpful and you're having fun with Hackslash right now. Be sure to like it up. Favorite it. Share it with your friends who want to play it too. Bye bye